Art Charles, your perception of this whole back and forth? I think the reason the meeting was tense is that although the president pretends that it's only a matter of language, nuance, or formulations, that's the key in the Middle East. Everything is spoken in code. And in his speech, on three major areas where Israel has had long-standing assurances from the United States, Obama undermined them. Uh, for instance, on negotiating with the terrorists, the position was you don't negotiate with terrorists, America doesn't, and Israel shouldn't. But instead, Obama said, well, the Palestinian Authority has to explain why and how Israel should negotiate with Hamas. Slightly ambiguous, a lot weaker. Second, the right of return. The Bush administration, in writing, had promised Israel seven years ago that the, the right of return would mean that Palestinians will go back to Palestine the same way that Jews have gone to their Jewish homeland in Israel, but not to Israel, because that would destroy Israel demographically. That is a core existential issue. Instead, Obama said nothing, which, where, where he could have simply said what our understanding of the right of return is. He didn't. And l lastly, as we saw in the exchange with the Prime Minister, was the 67 lines, where every presence in Lyndon Johnson has said 67 lines is not something that will be, uh, Israel will be required to return to. And the original resolution of the UN after the Six Day War explicitly said return of territories. We, the United States in the UN, fought hard to take out the word the, so it would mean it would be open-ended as to what would, would be returned. Obama now unilaterally added the word the half a century later. There are people, obviously, Charles, who are calling for the president to make a trip to Israel to kind of mend fences. Senator Obama did travel to Israel, and he made numerous statements, including this one. Uh, this was made at the AIPAC convention. He said, let me be clear, Israel's security is sacrosanct. It's non-negotiable. Palestinian people must preserve Israel's identity as a Jewish state with secure, recognized, and defensible borders. Jerusalem will remain the capital of Israel, and it must remain undivided. And we saw in Mike Emanuel's piece, he said it numerous times. What changed from Senator Obama to President Obama now? I'm, you have to assume he was uh, disingenuous as a candidate because he wanted support from uh, supporters of Israel who are extremely important in the Democratic Party. Look, everything you read are assurances, right? These are words. We will... The security of Israel is of paramount importance. These are all assurances. The reason the relations are frosty and why the Israelis are shocked by what they heard is because Obama undermined previous assurances. So Israelis are asking themselves, what are the present assurances worth if he undermined assurances on the right of return, undermined assurances on 67, undermined assurances on negotiating with Hamas? Israel is a tiny country with enemies all around. Iran is developing nukes. Turkey was a friend, it's now an enemy. Egypt is now speaking about uh, um, undoing the treaty it has. All Israel has is America and its assurances. Without assurances, it's naked alone in the world, and when assurances are undermined, it's deeply threatened existentially. Karen